Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. So you downloaded this template, but it isn't quite set up the way you need it. I'm going to show you how to edit this first slide here and then the corresponding slides. So let's say I need five suppliers. So if I just go to this supplier four element right here and right click and go copy, then right click again and go paste. <clears throat> I can move that into position right here. I'll rename it five. That now all I need to do is hold the shift key and then click the element behind it and then click the other elements uh, that show the supplier um, and then go to up here to shape format and go to align then go to distribute horizontally and that will lay these out perfectly for you and if you're needing to do the same thing down here with the inputs. Again, just copy and right click, paste, and we'll just rename that to five. <clears throat> Looks good. And hold shift and select the one behind it and the other ones as well. Then go up to format shape, or sorry, shape format and then go to distribute horizontally and that's that's that and they're all lined up perfectly and <clears throat> you'll have to readjust these little inputs if you want to and you can just copy and paste those as well and you can just drag these little little ends you see here um, and then you can see the little yellow ball or circle right there you can drag and adjust as well. So just kind of get those in the middle so I can see them. Okay, that looks good. So now that I got my new um, elements in there, I need to add a, uh, some slides so it has something to go to. So um, I'm going to go to the second um, slide here, and that's uh, the list of the suppliers and then a description. So what I'm going to do is um, shift click these so hold that hold shift click that one and that one to select both and hit uh, copy and then paste and then move that down kind of out of the way and then so kind of right there so now I can do the same thing uh, select that first one hold shift to select these other ones and then go to shape format, go back to align, but this time select distribute vertically like that. That looks good. And now that those are all distributed, I can uh, hold shift if I want to move these. I'm just holding shift while I move these so it kind of locks it in place. And let's see. That looks good. I think that goes with that one. Okay, and then I could also do the same thing with these. Holding shift, shape format, and distribute vertically. And it looks like they're all lined up pretty good here. Okay, and I'm going to send right click and go send it back so it goes on the back side of this element here. And I'm going to rename it to five, like that. That looks good. So I've got my fifth element here. And then I also need, if you want to add a close-up slide for the supplier, I would need to go here and go copy and then right click paste like that. So I have that new slide and then I need to go click that. So it says five, uh, supplier five, that looks good. <clears throat> Okay, and then what I need to do is go with that new slide selected. I just need to click on the arrow up here to kind of go up a little bit. This text right here is used for hyperlinking, so you don't want to delete that, but I do need to rename it to five, and I'll show you why in just a second. 
Now, if I go back up to the suppliers, the main suppliers um, list here, I need to right click on this um, supplier five button right here and go edit link. And then over here, I just want to drag down um, this scroll button until I find the supplier five and link to that. That looks good. And I could change the color of these if I want to. Um, right now it's linked to that one, so I could link link it to a different color and maybe a little bit darker text so I can see it. And now when I right click and play this, now if I go that, it'll go to supplier five and I can go back. And then up here as well, I need to um, well, actually, yeah, I need to select this supplier five um, element that I made up here and go actually go edit link there again and link it to supplier five um, slide that we just created there. And now if I play this, I can click on that supplier five and that looks good and I'd want to do the same thing with these inputs or any other ones that I, I create so if I go down here um, so if I want to add another input here I'd have to select all this text by just shift clicking it and then um, I can drag it down here um, I'm going to move this up here, move this up here, something like that. And then I'm going to go back up to Shape Format with those selected and go Distribute Vertically. And I also need to move these um, Supplier. If you choose to keep these, you can delete these if you want or keep them. Um, Tell us what supplier. So I need to go supplier five there. That looks good. And then um, move that one out. I'm going to move this out. There we go. And then um, I can select all these, shift click, go format, align vertical. So they kind of align now and um, also with these descriptions, I can move this one up and move this one up. Looks good. And then shift click these and go to format or shape format. Go to the line and distribute vertically. Um, you can also align to left if they get off a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And now Again, I'm going to send this to back, right click and go send it back so it's behind this element. And I'm going to right click on it and go edit link. And then I want to, um, oh, actually, I need to go create a new slide. So um, supplier for input, I'm just going to right click and go copy. And then right click again, go, um, go paste and name this to five like that. Then I go back up to here to this um, input list, the supplier input list, and then right click on that new um, element down here and go edit. And then I find the supplier. Oh, actually, I forgot to do one step. If I go back down to that slide we just made, um, remember I got to go click on the arrow here to go up. I got to change this um, this text placeholder here uh, for the hyperlinks to five. So now if I go back up to the list and right click on that element and go edit link, now that uh, supplier five input is there. And that should be linked to that. That looks good. Yep, it's linked to five. 
Um, I forgot to send this to back. I, I sent the the button to the back where I need to send the um, the text as well. So when it animates, the text comes in behind the shape. Um, there's instructions at the bottom <clears throat> of this template if you don't want animation, how to remove the animation. Okay, and you do the same thing with all these uh, these different elements on here. If I want to add another customer, I can just uh, copy this one and click into it to rename it to six. And again, just uh, kind of move it out of the way just a little bit here. Actually move it out a lot because I can't really select behind it. And then go up to um, format or shape format, align, distribute horizontally. I might have to adjust this again to get it in there. There we go. Now I have to do a, the distribute horizontally again. Now they all fit in there. And again, just like above, you have to um, adjust these. There you go. To make them fit. That looks good. Looks like customer five isn't getting anything. So um, I'll put him in the output four. And you can do the same thing with output four or the outputs. You can put five. Um, and then I go back, I'll go all the way down to uh, customer, because this is customer six. I'm going to right click and um, I can go duplicate slide too if I wanted to. That's probably easier. Um, change that to six. And I'll also change the text placeholder up here for the hyperlinks to six. And in here, I need to. Uh, shift click to select all the elements here and move these out of the way there looks good and then um, i'm actually gonna looks like that's lined up it'll tell me when i'm lined up that looks good that's lined up so i got these guides on that kind of tell me when something's lined up makes it pretty easy to adjust that looks good. Okay, so I got my new slide made, and this is customer six. So I gotta hyperlink this again. So if I click in and select the shape, I can go edit link and then go select customer six. Now I also have to do it um, for the other shape inside this group. So let's see. There we go. Okay. That looks good. Now if I preview this and select customer six, it goes to customer six now. Um, I probably need to send that to back as well. So I select all that. I can just shift click it and right click. Go send to back. So if you use the animation, all those will come in the back. Looks good. And then I have to go all the way up to the top again and um, I'll have to hyperlink this, the same thing we just did down there, to um, slide six. That's good. Okay. All right. There we go. And last thing, if like for these steps, there, um, if you want to add another step or remove another step. Um, you can select all of them, all the the elements inside there, and you can just kind of squash them down. And then um, you hold shift, you can kind of move this out so it lines up. And then um, this I'm going to kind of drag out to because it got squashed. Um, so I can read the start. And then you can select them all. Again, go up to um, actually, oh, I gotta add one. So, copy and paste. I just did the shortcut there. Control C, Control V. 
All right, that looks good. And in the step five. All right, now I'm going to select all these elements and go shape format, align, distribute, distribute horizontally. So now I have five steps. And again, I'm not going to go over how to create a slide for <clears throat> for a step because you can just use the the um, instructions I just went over um, when I added all of these the five the five the five or the six customer um, just do the same thing there as you did as you would uh, for the steps or the outputs here if you wanted to add it more if you want to add less just follow those exact same steps but you just would subtract or delete items out so if you just needed three suppliers um, you can move that to the end and then um, yeah, go distribute horizontally and now you have three suppliers and then you'd have to go in here and delete out these supply oops delete out the suppliers you don't want um, you can make these fit better just like we did before or you can just leave them and also um, you delete out these four and five for the supplier because we took those out up here so um, you can do that for all these elements if you need less or more all right uh, thanks for watching